The temperature's dropping, fellas, and it's actually sweater season. So in today's video, we're gonna be discussing some different options for you when it comes to rocking sweaters. On today's episode, we're gonna be discussing crew neck sweaters versus V-neck sweaters. Let's go. What's up, fellas? This is Isan of The Style Jumper, your guide to personal style. If you're new to the channel, we release videos where we discuss topics like style, confidence, and etiquette. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we release our next video. Crew neck and V-neck sweaters. Fellas, these are excellent options as the temperatures change and you get a chance to layer. This is my favorite time of the year, the fall going into the early winter. Once it gets too cold, bruh, I don't want to be out there. Have you ever seen those Polo or Ralph Lauren ads? Sometimes back in the day, maybe in the early 2000s, mid-2000s, you'll see a lot of campaigns when it comes to the fall and early winter with sweaters. And I love this look. I like to call this look the professor look for my age range because you can see it with a shirt and tie like I'm wearing today. And it's more traditional. The crew neck, as you can see fellas today, I'm wearing a crew neck sweater with a bow tie and a striped shirt. Now, if you're gonna wear a crew neck with a shirt, there's a couple of things I want you to remember. One, consider wearing a shirt with buttons because you don't want your collar to be moving up and down and it's gonna look weird or lose your collar when it comes to wearing it with a tie. You have the option to wear it with or without a button up shirt, but I think if you are like me, I usually like to dress up my look and I like to wear my sweaters with suits. So I'm usually gonna wear uh, Oxford shirt. One other thing you want to think about that's usually a golden rule is to wear collar stays. Make sure you have a collar stay and a strong collar when you're wearing a crew neck sweater as well because you don't want your collar to pop out and then curl up and you start looking kind of, you know, dishuffled and not well put together. Well, if you have the option, go ahead and purchase some mini magnets so you can really anchor down that collar under this sweater. You can dress it up or down, but there's a couple of things you want to think about. One is you don't have to wear a shirt under your crew neck. Obviously you want to wear a t-shirt, but you don't have to wear an Oxford shirt. So there's some flexibility there as well as an option to be a little more casual. Maybe some trousers or some chinos, some nice loafers or whatever shoe variation you like. You can dress it really casually and maybe even rock it with some jeans if you choose. V-neck sweater. Now if the crew neck is the more professor look, then the the v-neck sweater I would say is more of the preppy look for the younger crowd and I still try to rock that myself you know your boy he grown but he ain't old you know what I'm saying the v-neck sweater is a little more stylish you don't have to wear a shirt and tie with it but if you do wear a shirt go ahead and you can actually be a little more casual and wear it without a tie you can open up that shirt a little bit now one of the benefits if you decide to wear it with a shirt and tie is that that v-neck gives you an option to show off that nice shirt that you're wearing as well as your not gain when you're tying your tie you're taking that time to tie your tie as well as showing the color variations of that tie so it gives more of a wider range of what people can see and how much hard work you did to put together such a great outfit one v-neck i think is outstanding which is the cricket v-neck sweater it's super deep and you can again have that opportunity to show more of your shirt that you've put together if i wore that deep v it would show more of this striped shirt and if i had on a necktie obviously it would show a lot of my tie which really really draws people to you and draws people to your face and your torso today's cheat code so fellas i know you already start putting away some of those summer clothes some of those short sleeve shirts but here's a cheat code that i think you should take advantage of which is adding a short sleeve polo shirt under your v-neck sweater is going to definitely give you an ultra preppy look but it's also going to make you look like one of those players if you know what i'm saying so definitely a great option in today's cheat code fellas do me a favor comment below let me know what style of sweater you like the best and definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this video because it really helps the channel to grow. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave it in the comments below. And if you like this content, share it with your stylish friends. And remember, when you leave home today, walk out with style, confidence, and etiquette. And fellas, sweater game is always a good game to have. I wonder what you're going to be rocking this fall and winter when it comes to wearing your sweaters. We'll see you next time. one thing it's another but we're gonna get through this today brother
We release videos where we discuss topics like style, confidence, and etiquette. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the get. <laughs> As you can see today, fellas, I'm wearing a crew neck sweater. Give it more, maybe that you could see more. That if you want to open your shirt up and have that V neck. <laughs>